Good evening and welcome to Craft with Hayley. Uh, this is the little um, candle tea light holder that I showed on my Facebook page yesterday and because so many of you liked it I promised to shoot a video today to show you how to make it. Okay, you are going to start with a piece of card that it measures five and three quarters by three and a quarter and you are going to score it at half an inch, one and a quarter inches, three and an eighth, and seven, three and seven eighths. So it will look like that. Okay, your second piece, which is for the draw, you're going to start with a piece of card, which is three, four and three quarters by three and a quarter. I'm obviously talking inches. And you're going to score it at three quarters all the way around. So it looks like this. Um, I've snipped into either side of the score line. This just gives me, personally, a neater box. Okay, so I'm then just going to put this together. This is going to be the little drawer. So we're just going to fold along all the score lines. Um, now you'll want to use some uh, strong red adhesive tape or wet glue. But just because I'm showing you on the video, I'm just going to use a little bit of snail. Um, because it works for the magic of TV. Okay, I'm using the new strawberry slush coloured um, card, which I have to say is my absolute favourite. If you know me well, you'll know I am a pink girl, and strawberry slush is absolutely my favourite. Um, so there's the little box, how quick and easy is that? And then this is the case that's going to go on the top, or the sleeve, whatever you want to call it. So again, I'm just putting some snail on the side. Um, and then I'm just going to secure it all the way around, okay? How simple and quick and easy is that? And you can see I've just decorated it, and to decorate it I've just used some of the gorgeous washi tape. I'm loving washi tape. Um, I'm sure you've all been into it a lot longer than I have, but stamping up, I've only just brought it out. So for me, I am loving washi tape. Um, so, yeah, you can see, you're just going to very quick and easily wrap it round. Dec it decorates anything so quickly. And the beauty is, obviously, you can just rip it. I'm going to cut it because I want it to be a nice, neat finish. Okay. Fantastic. And then to make the flower, especially for the lovely Jane, um, I know Jane put on my Facebook page, thank you very much, um, that she loved the little flower. So I thought I would just very quickly show you how to make the flower. So I'm going to use the one and a quarter, oh, that's a bit of bright and stingy, one and a quarter inch scallop circle punch. You can use whatever one you like. I've just personally chosen that one because it's a size I like. I'm using some of our crepe paper, which comes, I don't know if you can see, in circles and in... Um, rectangles. I'm just going to take a couple of the circles out. I always find it easier to punch all at once. So I'm going to take a couple out and I'm just going to fold them in half. So I'm going to punch four at a time. Okay. And then I'm going to feed my punch into the, this is the crepe paper which is beautiful. So I'm just going to punch it out once and then I'm going to punch it out again because I can. Okay, you can do as many or as few layers as you choose. Obviously, the more layers, the fuller it's going to look, um, which is something I absolutely love. So, I'm then just going to stick a brad through the middle of the whole thing. So, I'm just getting my mat and my pokey tool out so that I can do that for you. Um, and just grabbing a brad. Now, it really doesn't matter what colour brad because you're not going to see it. So, don't use any of your posh ones. Use some of the ones you've got lying around from ages ago or whatever. So I'm just going to use the first one that comes to hand. It's an old retired brad. Okay, so then we're going to just do the brad up. So what we next want to do is we want to literally just curl up each piece step by step. Okay, so right into the middle. So that's the first one. Done. Okay, and just keep going and building it up layer by layer. So that's the second one and so on we just keep doing it don't be tempted to be lazy I know 
Um, it seems like, what is the point? We might as well just do it all in one go and that will look just as pretty. It won't. It really is worth the effort of taking each layer up, layer by layer. Um, because then the effect you're going to get is beautiful. I will keep doing this um, so you can see the finished effect because it is quite simple and it won't take me long. It'll just take me, I don't know, 10 or 20 seconds maybe. Okay, so that's the next layer. And then we're going up again. She says, all fingers and thumbs, you see now, because I know you're watching me. Well, I hope somebody is anyway. Um, so there we go. That's the next layer going up. And then the next layer's going up. And the last layer, okay? And then what you can do is grab your pokey tool, so that's what it looks like, and you think, what a mess. But you grab your pokey tool and you just tweeze it out slightly. Okay? And then by doing that, you end up with this beautiful, almost carnation-looking little flower, which is quite gorgeous. Um, shall I bring that up so you can see it a bit closer? There we go. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. Now all I've then done to add a little bit more is I've taken my strawberry slush and my dauber and I have literally just inked over the top. So what's happened there is just the edges, like those really pretty carnations, has taken um, just a little bit on the corners. And again, I'll hold it up for you to see. Can you see? So it's just taken on all the colour. Okay, so we can then just add that to the top of our box. Um, we can also add a little greeting, which I'm sure I prepared one earlier. Um, for those of you that saw me yesterday moaning about a fan, you can see my papers flying everywhere because I got a fan. Yay! I'm so pleased. I managed to walk into Tesco's and they just had a delivery, so it was meant to be. I was so meant to get um, a fan today. Okay, I'm just going to stick that on the top okay oh that says thank you that's not good is it whereas now it says thank you which is much better okay and then all I've done for my original box is I just popped some washi tape to match around the um, little tea lights and pop them inside and I've also decorated the box itself with my washi tape Okay, well hopefully you like that project. Thank you for leaving me some messages, so many messages on Facebook. Don't forget any products that you might want um, are all available through myself, through Stamping Up. So if you visit www.craftwithhayley.com, then I will be happy to help you with any of your purchases. Thank you for watching and don't forget to go and check out my YouTube video, YouTube channel rather, where there are lots more videos to see. Take care and have a nice evening.